guys thank you so much for coming back to watch me if you're new here hi welcome my name is soul in today's video i thought i'd do a little gift guide slash wish list so christmas is almost here i can't even believe we're in december already and so i thought i'd make a video sharing some ideas or you know just items that someone in your life might like in case you're having trouble deciding what to gift for christmas now some of these things are i'm going to start off with a gift guide which are things that i personally love and that I have and that maybe someone would enjoy and then the other half of the video I'm going to be sharing some wish list ideas um, actually just things for my wish list um, in case you were interested or curious about that so um, for my gift guide portion I'm going to be showing things um, from different little categories from like hair to skincare to makeup to even home um, home item in case you're interested so i'm going to begin with a hair item so you know i feel like almost everyone just wants to have that moisture in their hair and that smoothness and shininess shininess and so one of the items that i picked that could be a great gift is this um prickly pear hair oil from day i got this as a gift myself and i truly love it i use the i also use the gisu honey infused hair oil love them equally but i just feel like this one it's just super amazing. Not that the other one isn't, it's just that this one is the one that I gravitate towards more now. And I think it's because of the cute packaging. It's like that um, light green color and then the oil itself is like a light pink. And I think it's pretty affordable for this size of hair oil. They do sell it at Sephora and they also carry it on the day website. I think it retails for $36, but for Black Friday that we're having a sale and I'm pretty sure they'll have sales as we get closer to Christmas is what I anticipate most brands will be doing. But yeah, this one is just super nice, does not leave your hair greasy. I actually did a little review on this so I'll go ahead and like add it somewhere here so you can click on it in case you're interested. But it leaves my hair super shiny and it smells amazing and it does not leave it oily. And I love that so I think that would be a great gift idea um, in case you don't know what to get someone. and if you know they're into their hair or into having like that smoothness and like trying to combat frizz, this would be a great um, gift for, the, for that person. And then moving on, fragrance. I know that I myself would always want to get my favorite perfume because it'd be more on the pricier side and I just wouldn't want to buy it myself so I would always ask for it for Christmas and luckily I would always end up getting it. Um, my favorite used to be the YSL by Black Opium. No, Black Opium by YSL. I don't know, brain fart. But um, that was my favorite perfume. I still have some of it left. I think this is my third bottle. But ever since doing the switch to more cleaner and like non-toxic items, I now use um, a natural perfume and it's just a perfume oil and it comes in a little roller ball. I'm gonna show you. And this is my all-time favorite right now. It is called Florida in a Bottle and it smells just like, I don't know how to explain it, like citrusy but like with vanilla notes which I love, it's so amazing. And I'm almost out, it's like right here, which I did ask for this for Christmas because I'm almost out, but I love this and it lasts a long time because not only is it in a rollerball, so you only need to use the tiniest bit, but because it is an oil, you'll smell it throughout the day, especially when it warms up on your skin. So I just love it and it's super amazing. It may seem small, but it lasts a long time. And then along with essential oils, well, this is a perfume, but it's also like aromatherapy kind of thing. So another great gift idea would be some essential oils. If you know that person is into like essential oils and just like relaxation and just um, aromatherapy, another great idea would be a uh, roll-on essential oil. This one is peppermint. Um, this one is great if you have like tension headaches or migraines, which I get. And all I do is just roll some on my temples and then sometimes I carry it like at the top of my forehead and on the back of my neck and it seems to really help when I get those tension headaches because it's really relaxing and just soothing and you can feel the mintiness and it'll just um, make you feel so good. I love it. I love aromatherapy and essential oils. I feel like it's just a natural way to de-stress and just like relax and they come in different smells. Obviously this one's peppermint but I also love vanilla and lavender and I just think they're great. So, you know, get that special someone, like their favorite perfume, whatever scent that may be. You can always just look at their perfume collection and see what they're running low on or if you know what scent they wear the most 
you can go and you know check and see if they're almost out and that would be a great gift and then if you, they're into like like i said relaxation or meditation or any of those related things you can also gift them their like favorite um essential oil um especially in a roll-on so they can carry it with them and just you know have it at hand which i love this one i got at walmart it's by the brand guru nanda and it says ready to use roll-on it is um no synthetic ingredients cruelty free and it is organic and so that's what i love that you can find things like this and they're just more on the natural side and they just work just as well and then moving on another thing you can buy for someone is their favorite makeup item if you know that they're running low on something or you've heard them say oh i'm almost hitting pan on this you can um, go ahead and buy that for them so a couple of my favorite items here is this ilia bronzer i haven't hit pan on but i love it so this could be a great gift i love this brand they're non-toxic they're certified clean and you know i just love what they stand for and then their mascara i cannot stop talking about this mascara like it is amazing it is the best one i've tried i cannot recommend it enough everyone i meet i'm like dude this mascara is so good you need to try it and i'm not like exaggerating like i just love it so much so you know i love Ilya, but any makeup item that you know that some that special someone is running out of or a brand they love you can just skip them like a specific product or you can even do a little gift set i know a lot of makeup brands and beauty brands do like gift sets around christmas and that would be a great little gift because usually they'll be like value sets so it'd be a great gift and then moving on um for makeup you can also do their favorite skincare if they're running like i said if they're running low on something you can replace that or if you know they like a certain brand you can do a little gift set um for my beauty items um, skincare related i love the kudali grape water this is very soothing and moisturizing and it's great for sensitive skin and it is just 100 percent organic grape so it is also more on the natural side so if they like a refreshing spray this would be a great gift or also a stocking stuffer and same with these little skincare items that i'm going to show um this one's from youth to the people it's their moisture cream it comes in this little um jar this one is little because it came in a gift set but you can break them apart and put them in little stockings if you let's say you have siblings or you have friends you can just buy one gift item and then break it apart and just gift a little something to each of them in their stocking stuffer and then um oil if they're into like facial oils um this is the ordinaries uh 100 cold pressed virgin marula oil this is another great gift idea if they're not into oils you can also do like their favorite moisturizing cream or something that you know they would like but i know this brand is really good and they're inexpensive and they work just as well as the expensive stuff now moving on i'm going to show you a home item now this was gifted to me and i know it is pricey but i also know that they're doing like um sales especially for christmas this is a vitruvi essential oil diffuser and i just love this thing i had it stashed in the spare bedroom because when we moved here we just tossed everything in there and i was like mm, i might sell it or i might donate it i'm not even using it but oh my gosh i don't know why i forgot about it it is amazing i use it i don't have the little oil with me right now but i put in the lavender oil in here and it's just so soothing not only is a smell just super invigorating but you can also hear the water trickle on the inside so it just makes it like such a spa experience and i love it they have it in different colors this is just a standard white one it's ceramic and it is just amazing and it just looks really nice like in the little corner of your home or in the bedroom i sometimes take it with me to the bathroom where i'm doing like my skincare and nighttime routine and it's just like like a spa it's just amazing aromatherapy and it just like relaxes me at the end of the day and it's just super nice so this would be a great gift now you don't have to get this exact diffuser there's tons of diffusers you can find some on amazon on bed bath and beyond even target um you don't have to go expensive when buying a diffuser um and it'd just be great it'd be a great gift a little diffuser with like their favorite essential oil that they might like and it'd be an amazing gift for that someone that you're on the fence of you don't know what to buy and then a tech related item um something that i love and maybe someone else might are my airpods i love these things i'm going to admit like i've done before i used to make fun of these things because i'm like okay you look weird not wearing 
earphones that have cords like they just look like they're floating in your ear they're just weird but they are so life-changing <laughs> Um, especially when you're talking on the phone, sometimes I struggle with the person not being able to hear me clearly and these just fix that issue and especially, I mean, I'm not saying you should be talking on the phone while driving, but let's say you're expected to get a call from someone or like an emergency call, you know, this is an easy way to just answer the phone really quickly without having to use your phone and have your hands on your phone while driving. Um, and I just love them. They're so convenient and they're very small and you can just take them with you everywhere, throw them in your purse. And the battery lasts a long time for me. And yeah, these are just the first generation. I haven't felt the need to buy the other ones because these work just as great. So it's another little gift idea. And then another gift idea is a coat, a good coat. I live in Washington and we get really cold winters and a good coat is just like a lifesaver in the winter. Um, I have, I just bought the Everlane Renew Long Puffer Coat. I did an unboxing video, I'll link it in the description below. And I love it, it's just in the chestnut color, has a hood, deep pockets, and it's just in this really nice color. And it is the warmest coat I have. It seriously is so good, I cannot feel any cold or any wind coming in and it is just amazing. It is a little bit more on the pricier side. I think it retails for 175, but if you sign up for their emails, you get a 10% off, which is what I did, so you save a little bit of money there. But it is such an investment piece because you will have it for such a long time given the quality. And then the brand is just amazing. They're ethical, sustainable. That's what they're all about, and so I love them for that. So that's another gift idea. Now you don't have to get them the specific coat. You can just give them a coat that you know they will love but this is just an item that I can't recommend enough just because it is so amazing and then lastly going on with clothing is a net sweater or any kind of sweater I'm the kind of person that I love to be warm and cozy so a sweater is always a great gift now to make it easier you can always just you know think about what that person wears do they wear bright colors do they wear neutrals do they wear more browns or beige or do they like reds just you know go with your color palette when you're buying a sweater that way there's higher chances of them actually wearing it this one that i'm going to show is actually one that i thrifted today it is just this eddie bauer more of like a cardigan sweater and i just love that i had like these elbow pads it just gives it like a vintage feel and i love that um but yeah like a sweater is a great gift idea you, Christmas, it's winter, it's cold, it's, I feel like it's something that someone would appreciate. Just a warm sweater or a warm um, knitted sweater. Kind of the same thing, but different. So yeah, that's the portion, my portion for gift, um, for my gift guide. Now I'm going to move on to my wish list in case you're interested. I don't know, you might not be, but I just wanted to throw things in here. So the first item that I put on my wish list I try to put things that I've been wanting but just haven't bought just because it could be more on the pricier side or I'm just like mm, I'll get it later and just keep forgetting about it but the first one and I'll insert pictures of the items that I'll be talking about the first one that I put on my gift guide are blue light glasses I specifically put the ones from key um, I think they're a rounder shape and they're like gold framed I need blue light glasses now I'm not sure they entirely work you know when you're on the screen if it'll you know help your eyes um, from straining or from getting red my eyes get super red when I'm like in front of lights in fact after I'm done recording this I'm probably gonna have red eyes for some they just get irritated very easily and same when I'm doing homework and just looking on the screen for long periods of time um, my eyes just get strained and red so I'm hoping that blue light glasses fix that but I just wanted to get them in a stylish way so I picked the ones from key which are round and just gold framed and I just think it looks super cute and they're a different shape than what I'm used to these are prescription I do have astigmatism so these are actually prescription and I love them they're tortoise but I just want something that are specifically made for like being on the screen for long periods of time um, aside from that I also added some sunglasses I don't have I do have sunglasses that I got from Target but I don't take care of them they're bent and I think it's because they were just a cheap buy that I'm not you know super careful with them uh, so I added on my wish list some Ray-Ban sunglasses and I think I put the round shape in there because 
I want a different shape than what I'm used to and just try something different. I feel like they're super in style and I just think they're super cute. Another item that I put in my wish list was this Everlane bandana cashmere scarf. It's just, and I think it was in the bone color that I put it on my wish list for. It's like a different take on a scarf. It's literally like a bandana. It looks so stylish and so cute. And I just thought it was different and it's super soft and that's what I added on there. Another thing that I added was like a little crystal set. So let me show you. Recently I started reading and getting into the properties that different crystals have and I was just fascinated and um, I just feel like they just radiate positivity and they're seen as being positive and just bring good energy and good vibes. I'm a firm belie believer in, you know, good energy or bad vibes and I just, I'm just so fascinated by them. I have a sweet friend who actually gifted me, um, like a little healing stone kit and it came with like the main ones, like an amethyst, rose quartz, crystal quartz, um, soda light, just the typical like main crystals but I just want more just because they're so fascinating and she also gifted me this sacred crystals book and it just breaks down the different properties of crystals for example um let me read a little page it has all the information but for example let me find one clear quartz um, it says that clear quartz increases clarity of thought, sharpens perception, enhances memory. So they all have different properties. My favorite one I'd have to say is the rose quartz, which just symbolizes happiness and joy. And you know, that's what I just want to radiate. And I don't know, just be more positive and, you know, don't let like the bad energy or just bad thoughts enter you. And I feel like that's just, I don't know, I'm just wanting to be more positive about everything and just have a good intentions even on your worst days and so yeah so now i always carry a little like rose quartz with me like in my pocket or now i also ordered some um earrings and a couple rings that came with a little rose quartz so now i have it with me every every day and i just think it's like such like my own little personal thing that makes me just be like more positive. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it just, I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying I don't know because I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just so fascinated by them and I think they're super just nice. And so I added that on my wish list. Um, along with that, I added some more like essential oils and like some aromatherapy spray that you can just spray around, like um, lavender scent and a couple of jewelry pieces that I... I don't really care for super nice like real jewelry just because it is expensive but I just wanted some pieces that won't tarnish or turn your finger green. I did recently order some rings from, I don't know if you can see them, there you go, from Pura Vida. They were having 40% off and I just happened to get this turquoise ring and then this like sun um, engraved kind of ear, uh, ring. And then I also got um, a rose quartz ring that I have in the room and then some earrings. So I just put some jewelry pieces. I didn't really ask for much because I feel like I don't need much. But that was my little wish list and my gift guide ideas. I don't know. I hope you found this video interesting or useful in some way or helpful. Um, that's always my intention with all my videos just to be able to provide people with something. I... I don't know, I just get so happy when I make videos and it's like my little hobby and if people can get something out of it, that is amazing because that's always my intention. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you would subscribe and just join my little growing family and I'll see you in the next video.